Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about the important thing about instance. That's very useful for a render in a large scene. If you click an instance, it's a red because you have to uh, have a re reference object to that. For example, I want this cylinder here and I want to copy them in a several <coughs> other uh, instance. And simply here in our instance, you have to reference the instance to this object. Actually, instance is a uh, very is a, a special copy of the object that when you change the main object, it changed also. Simply, you can click and drag or use this eye dropper here and click on instance. It will turn to green and white, and we have a cylinder in and this is its instance. And you can simply click and drag with holding control and <clears throat> copy any instance that you want. When you click at the cylinder that is the main object, for example, going to its parameter here and you change the parameter, all of the instance object will be changed together. This is main goal of instance. When you click on any instance, we have a three important mode of the instance. The, uh, normally, the normal mode of the instance is instance. It's copied object that share its properties here. And the, these are instance exactly the cylinder. No, it's not any different. If you have a very large scene, they are all cylinder and like the original. But if you <clears throat> want to render that, the software has have to calculate all of them. So for rendering, we have to use render instance. You have to click all of the instance or before that and change it to the render instance. Okay, now we change it to a render instance, as you can see. <clears throat> and it's very light for rendering and uh, rotating. I will show you different between them. And the multi instance, you have to give it a position source. It's for large scene that you have to use that. Okay, I give you an example for under better understanding the difference between these three modes. Okay, I make a complex object, for example, a cylinder, going to the display mode, uh, increase its height segment. I want to add, uh, for example, a bulge. I will teach you all of this option. For accurate selecting, holding shift and select bulge. And you can change strings like this. And make another deformer twist. Sorry. After the bulge. No, first make a twist and then bulge. Twist. Twist that. And then bulging. Okay, that's not different. I want to use a uh, 2D former for that. And this is a complex, for example, <clears throat> uh, modeling. I want to use an instance from that. Click on that and click on an instance. Okay, we have a... Uh, mm, to better understanding that, we use cloner. Okay, we clone this object in several objects. Click and drag under the clone and uh, okay, you know, for example, clone, you can clone it and count any time that you want. For example, I clone it one, two or three objects. That's enough, I think. <clears throat> Four objects. And I use a tree cloner for give you an example of this tree mode. Cloner number one, two, three. In each coloner, we have an option here is instance mode that we want to explain all of this mode here. In the first coloner, we set it in an instance. In the second coloner, we set it we set as a render. In the second, we set it a multi. In the first, we editable it here. And what we have here, as you can see, in a regular instance, we have all objects with all sitting and deformer here. 
okay nothing is happened nothing is <clears throat> suffered does not an instance does not anything for us for uh lightening our for lighting our scene and for more speed i mean in a second it's set on a render instant when you editable what happen if you open it as you can see the important uh, actually happen here we have a one object here and the other are instance they do not have any of this modeling so this work making our scene faster in a render the other is set to the multi instance the multi instance i will I, I will be explaining in a better example but you can see it here if you make it editable an important thing happen here we have one object and the other object, for example, one million objects set to the one instance object. And it makes our scene very, very fast. But unfortunately, you cannot um, access your model individually. For example, look at this image. We have one object and spread it to the scene, one million polygon. And you can handle it very easily. But in the other, you are individually access to instance but in a render we do not uh, re, uh, access to object properties just you have to go into the main object to access that so you saw benefits of our three uh, instance mode i give an example about uh, Oh, sorry, I forget that. For example, I have a simple instance. You can click uh, select object first and click instance. And we have instance here or any instance that you want. You can set it editable here, make editable object. And also you can change the uh, polygon and everything will be changed in instance. It's in a parametric or in a editable mode. The instance work together to you i want to give an example example about uh, multi instance what is multi instance for example i have a uh, cube here make it smaller and <clears throat> going to the generator and when the when the cylinder is selected i select instance and set it at the multi if you set it at the multi a new option will be appear here it's a position source you have to give a, uh, this uh, object a position source that you can define it to a spread, for example, in a large scene. When you go into the move graph, the position source is here. You can use a matrix as a position source. It's, a, it's not a, an object. It's a, just a point. You can change its option here. Go into the model mode to changing its parameter here these are all points or not object that you can spread object for example you can give this uh, this you can give the source to for example a landscape okay where is that you can give this source to the landscape and then then you give this this source to the instance and all of this uh <clears throat> separate on your uh landscape these are just position source they are point and i want to say hey instance you are in a multi instance please use this position source click and drag the matrix to this box and as you can see we spread all of the and we can uh, moving very fast it is nice for us but unfortunately we cannot access to any object individually for more, uh, for yeah, for for making our scene faster, you can, for example, turn off the objects. These are just for watching. You can turn it to point. You can turn it to the matrix. You can turn it to the bounding box instead of the object, and you can you can turn the object. Don't worry about that. I will be teach you in. Uh, move graph uh, we give you another example i want just to say what is the multi-instance and this is 
Okay. Going to the instance, I want to teach you swap instance. For example, I <coughs> click an object and instance it and make a lot of instance for that. We have a lot of instance here. As you can see, for example, our object is in a null object. In a null, null, it's, it's in hierarchy and we can find it, for example. It's here and close it and we can find our uh, main object for example going here with with a large scene and oh I want to change one of these polygon what can I do now as you can see we do not access the uh, parameter of the original image original object so you when you want to change the parameter you have to find in a large scene and go to the original object and then change it but if you find it here and i say uh, all of those are instance and there are not different between them i want to change it and all of the instance mode and original will be changed so you can change this instance swap this instance with a reference simply swap it and as you can see the instance go in this hierarchy and the main object uh, swap here and this is and this become our main object and then then we have access to our parameter and can simply change anything that we want so you learn what is swap with reference okay this is all about instance it's very important definitely use it for your render hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.